Hey there, welcome to Better Gear for Bikes, and today is the day to get the Trek Rail 9.7 out on the trails with the new RockShox Zeb Ultimate. So the swap has been made. Uh, off went the Yari, or technically the Lyric Ultimate with the damper change, and on went the Zeb. So, you know, I know that it's going to be the better choice, but is it in fact um, overkill? And did I just waste money in purchasing this for my type of trails and, and my type of riding, age, etc.? So all that combined, uh, was it a smart purchase? So uh, here we go, going to get out on the trails and provide some feedback directly and then uh, kind of sum it up at the end. So thanks for joining and hope this is of value. All right, all the best. Okay, here's a good test of handling. It's a little bit, a two millimeter more offset on this from 42 to 44. But, I don't know if it's just me this morning, but I think this whole rig is handling a little bit easier and quicker through this tight stuff. Could be my level of excitement over new components. New fork, but if we set that aside, certainly because it's a not a bigger fork or girth, you might think that it would upset the bike and handling through this tight, twisty stuff, but it doesn't. I mean, one reviewer, Lone Wolf, described the suspension feel on these versus the Fox 38 as, uh, I think, poppy or active. I don't remember, but anyway, just that it floats over the bumps. It isn't quite as sensitive on the lower end as the Fox 38. But in order to get there to a good setting, it's a lot easier than everybody thinks on the Rock Shocks versus the Fox. But yeah, stick with me here. Now this is a up and down section as it gradually goes up to the top of the plateaus and then I'll be doing some downhill but yeah I think I'm definitely buzzing through this tight stuff just as good well, on this particular morning better that it has to do with this Zeb, I don't know, but it probably does. Here I'm doing a slight climb over a mix of smaller rocks and some baby heads here. And the fork is just doing a great job of soaking it up. Okay, I've been riding for about 15 minutes so far and over the kind of terrain that I'll be riding most. And uh, definitely notice, uh, going back to that word stout, the, just the stout feeling that a fork with bigger uh, stanchions and legs provide. So uh, definitely the, the crown has been beefed up as well. So um, 
yeah, over all sorts of types of bumps, even the little washboard type bumps and how it handles, I think, through the tight twisty stuff. Uh, they're definitely all upside, no downside, and just provides a, a more precise feel in the fast flowy stuff as well. So uh, I'm super psyched and we are going to go over that way, do some uh, undulating type sweeper stuff on hard pack, a little rocky too. So this would be a good test for just overall handling and uh, give a good indication uh, for most of the type of riding uh, that I'm gonna do. So let's hit it. Okay, going through some of this flat hard pack sweepers. And I guess the old fork was flexing through this stuff too, because I'm definitely getting a more precise feel out of this fork. How about that? And just over these embedded rocks too it just pops right over them yeah so super psyched this has been a great first ride great first impressions in all areas considering the package weight the bike myself, the kind of terrain, this is a no-brainer. And what I think I'm going to do is just sell the Yari and it'll be Been like a maybe a hoping maybe a 200 250 dollar upgrade so the fork cost me about 700 i've seen it for a little cheaper on ebay for new ones maybe 50 bucks now that the the newer zeb came out but heck, this is awesome. There's a big difference. I don't need the release valve. And I'm guessing most people out there don't either, unless you're pretty hardcore. And are riding at uh, big differences in altitude. So. Definitely smiling big right now. Yeah, definitely getting a lot better feel off the berms and transitioning in between the berms when I pick up some of that. rock action but yeah this is just so much better where these rocky sections right there used to really upset the front end and it feel like the bike was dancing over it until it settled down until I got out of it but now it's just rolling right over it and don't feel any jiggle. Ah. 
That was a section right there that used to rattle the bike up front a little bit and flex it, but now no issues. So yeah, as I finish the ride here, just kind of in summary out on the trail, my thoughts are fresh. Even for a rider like me who's not going to a bike park, getting crazy off drops, anything like that. Just in it for the long haul, I'm not looking to do anything crazy and risk crashing. This is definitely a smart purchase. And just the extra stability it provides and safety too. So with stability and feel, definitely feel uh, more in control with this setup. Hey, wrapping it up here post ride. Let me know if you have any questions about uh, the bike or this upgrade. And uh, again, I paid just over seven uh, for this Zeb. Uh, and I got it from competitive cyclists. I've purchased a lot from them uh, over the years and uh, they upgraded the shipping for me. I've seen it a little bit cheaper on eBay, uh, but with shipping and everything, would it would have probably been about the same. Yeah, I'm confident I'll do well in the sale of the other fork, and it will just be uh, not too much uh, total for this upgrade. Regardless, uh, this performed uh, super well in all categories. Uh, very noticeable difference from the smooth uh, washboard type stuff uh, to turns, uh, the rock gardens, and uh, gullies with the baby heads and all the, the rougher stuff. Uh, this is definitely the way to go. Again, for the total bike and rider weight, uh, this was definitely uh, ideal uh, as an upgrade. Uh, happy I did so and again if you have any questions uh, comments let me know I will be um, taking this out much more often now as you can imagine I'm pretty excited and I will be putting up some more videos on uh, the bike and the, uh, the, the few upgrades I've done to it and just how it performs out there and some cool cool video uh, action out there on the trails so again, uh, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on how I can improve the videos, please let me know. All right, take care and we'll see you on the next one.